Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm James and you're watching Blue Dog Aquatics. All right, today we're gonna talk about something different, something new and something that I've always wanted to try because when it comes to snakes or it comes to reptiles or it comes to things with lots and lots of teeth, it can get dangerous and we don't want you guys to feel unsafe around your animals. Now, I've sold a couple of snakes to people and I mean, they're, they're, le they're learning and you know, but unfortunately, you know, bites happen when it comes to snake, when it comes to monitors, uh, really anything. It, there is that chance that you're gonna catch that animal on an off day where it's just, I mean, we have it too. We, we have bad days where we're just like, leave me alone, I don't wanna deal with it. Well, snake's way of communication is, I'm gonna bite you. And, you know, it's, it's the same with chameleons, it's the same with monitors. I mean, hell, I, I've been bit by chameleons and I actually had to get stitches because I got ripped open. Um, but it is what it is. And I, I don't want you to get deterred from owning these amazing animals because you just happen to get bit one time, you know, it. it's part of owning a reptile and we want to make sure that you are as safe as possible. So we're going to teach you ways to ensure that you're as safe as possible with these animals. So without further ado, real quick guys, before we get into it, I just wanted to give you an update. So. As of last night, our female green tree python uh, went into her nest box, also called a lay bin. So hopefully she lays eggs. Um, I'm really hoping uh, it'll be really cute. But swing over, we got our carpet python. But yeah, let's jump into the snake that we're gonna target or tap train. All right, for those of you that don't know, this is called a snake hook. Um, this is used to help lift the snake uh, out of its enclosure, or if you're out in the wild, uh, they'll hook the snake in the middle of the body and control the tail to safely move the animal out of the way. Now, I have all different size snakes. I have all different size snake hooks. This is just a very, very short one. I mean, you can see it's not that long, but I use this for snakes in the snake rack. Um, they're, it, it's easier for me to move around the bedding and uh, less chance of getting bit. But today we have a lot of new snakes in, but the one I want to do this with is somebody who really has a bad attitude and that is my mexican black pink snake i would say i'm gonna do it with my uh, uh rat snake because honestly every ball pythons and this is my opinion and take it how you will ball pythons are less likely to bite it just depends on what kind of day they're having. You need to be able to read their body language, read their tongue flicks on how their day's going. I mean, you have ball pythons, they don't bite that often, and then you have rat snakes or king snakes that are like, uh, don't touch me. And then you have big old girls like our coastal carpet python. I mean, she's eight foot long and she don't care. She's like, okay. I get to go for a walk. I mean, it's all about the body language. It's the same with dogs. It's the same with training any animal. It's all about perception. And once you open up that door, let, let, let's take snakes, for example. Are there, there's a couple of different things to look for when you open a door to a snake. Are they in attack mode? Are they in rest mode? Are they in flight mode? Um, and we'll, we'll describe a couple of these. So attack mode, if they're assed up and they're coiled up with their head right in the middle, it's a pretty good chance that 
they want to be left alone they got that attitude where they're just like I will eat you if you try and put your finger in here well then you also have flight mode if you open up the drawer or open up the tank and they go flying away from it well that's because we're a lot bigger than they are I mean they they kind of see us as food because we're warm-blooded uh, mammals but they also realize that I mean unless you're dealing with like an eight-foot coastal carpet python you're dealing with something that's far larger and so they're like it, it's better for them to run away than try to eat or try to attack I mean some like rat snakes <laughs> my broadbanded rat snake here he don't care how big you are he will try to bite you <laughs> so with that being said we're actually going to do a video on uh, the rats you know what we're gonna go with the rat snake only because I know he bites I've never now I, I do want to do give a disclosure here there's a chance that I get bit a pretty strong one um, so if there's any young viewers or uh, anybody that uh, just doesn't like the sight of that you might want to step away for a couple of minutes you know just until and, and I'll tell you right before we before we go to pull them out uh, but I just want to make sure that you guys are comfortable so without further ado now I want to tell you about this snake uh, it's about a six month old broad banded tie bamboo rat snake the snake has been handled but not a lot um, this snake always eats in its bin as do all of them I have so many snakes that and that's sometimes what happens is you have tank aggression or bin aggression because they are eating where they live so they think that everything in there is nothing but food so but yeah this th this guy's never been worked with we've never done tap training or anything like that with him so without further ado let's get into it all right so we're gonna open the door and we're gonna see what kind of mood he's in now i'm gonna set the snake hook up there next to my <laughs> fake steak all right so we have the water dish we have one that hides he likes to up oh, yep, there he is so you see how he's nice and coiled up now you can't see it but he's actually got really small tongue flicks which means that he's kind of irritated and I just woke him up and disturbed him so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the little snake hook now you don't want to do it you just kind of want to rub on him let him know that this isn't food that hey it's okay we can we can be friends here without getting bit now he might go into flight mode where he runs away from it because he's not exactly sure what it is but this just tells them that not everything that comes in to this bin is food so I'll rub him a little bit let's see now he's, he's starting to get adventurous um, let me see if I can zoom in on his He's got such amazing patterns. Oh, this tripod's getting heavy. Bend, bend, bend over. <laughs> so, we've messed with them a little bit. We're gonna see, viewer discretion advised, we're gonna see how he takes it. Now, you see how he turned around? He's tracking where my finger is. So, there's a chance, oh! Yep. Oh, you little stinker. Yep, I told you. There's a chance, 100%, <laughs> that I was going to get bit. So, as you can see, he's running away right now. He's going to go hide. Now, dealing with that rat snake. So, this will be part one. Um, we'll do some more work with him and hopefully, you know, get him to the point where we can I can reach in there without being bit um, 
I could tell by his body language that he was probably gonna bite, but I wanted to show you guys that, you know, there's a chance you're gonna be bit. It, it, it happens. I got bit, it, it's okay. Um, but if you do get bit, the biggest thing is go disinfect um, the wound, make sure to wash your hands, and get that all cleaned up. So, this will be part one. Uh, we'll make sure to do part two uh, with the rat snake doing a little bit more training. It's not going to happen overnight. This is something that has to be repetitive. Something that has to happen daily for this animal to figure out that not everything coming in there is food and as you can see i mean his first response was to kill because they get fed in their boxes i haven't worked with the rat snake and that's why we chose him so stay tuned for that hope you enjoyed this video guys sorry about no video on monday we uh <coughs> we were working like crazy at the shop um we got a couple of the racks built for the fish and uh, we're finishing up on the reptile side and figuring out what we want to do with there So if you got any ideas on what you want to see in the shop drop a comment down below if you enjoyed this video Also, make sure to like and subscribe Stay tuned also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we also have TikTok that We do new and exciting videos all the time. So stay tuned for that and uh, thanks for watching guys and as always the big question your tank or mine?